compounds. So in this, uh, this chapter is very very important. These main concepts we will discuss in that types of ligands. Types of ligands. That the main three types are important. One is chelating ligand. Chelating ligand means a uh, ligand which can form ring or cyclic structures with the central metal atom. Which can form ring or cyclic structure with the central metal atom. Example, ethylene diamine. Structure of ethylene diamine is CH2, CH2, NH2, NH2. Here, these both donor atoms, NH2, NH2 will form bond like this and form cyclic structure. So, ring type structure will be formed like this. Such type, such type of ligands are called chelating ligands. Here, chelating ligands increase the stability of the complexes compared to normal ligands. Next one, uh, one more thing, among the following which is chelating ligand, if they ask, almost all polynated ligands can form ring type structures. So, all are common to chelating ligands. Next, one more type, pi acid or pi acid of ligands. Pi acid or pi acid of ligands. In this, what is pi acid or pi acid? Ligands. Ligand which can accept electrons from filled d orbitals of central metal atom. Actually, ligands can donate pair of electrons to metal atom. But some ligands they can also take electrons from central metal atom, filled orbital, filled d orbitals of central metal atom. So such type of ligands are called pi acid or pi acceptor ligands. These uh, two are familiar examples. Uh, and questions they are asking among the following pi acid type ligand or pi acceptor ligand like they are asking. So, in such case, these examples are useful. Next one, another concept IUPAC names. Here, I am going to IUPAC names. All the books in this crash course discussing is very difficult. So, main types and with examples only I can explain. First one, cationic complex means. Coordination compound in which central atom or uh, coordination complex that coordination uh, compound gets positive charge. That sphere gets positive charge. So in such case, how to write? First, we have to follow uh, uh, we have to follow an order that is ligands we have to write first. If more than one type of ligands are present, we have to follow alphabetical order. Now here only one type is there, we start with or that uh, ligand only. Here six ligands are there. So hexa amine, this is called amine. Double M you are need to write. Uh, your spelling is also important. Next, after writing ligands, then you have to go for central metal atom, which is the platinum and its oxidation number. In this complex, platinum oxidation state is plus four. So that plus four you have to represent. Next one. Counter ion, whatever the counter ion is there, that will not write chloride or sulfate, whatever it is. So here, hexa mi platinum 4 chloride. This is the uh, name of this complex. Next one, another compound with bidentic ligand. Suppose here, one more tool I am going to cover. En. En uh, name is ethylene diamine. Ethylene diamine. Now, Already we have invented prefix di is there. So we can't write di one more time. So in such case, if ligands are having numerical prefixes like di, tri, la, we need to use bis, tris, tetra, tis for 2, 3, 4 uh, times it repeats. Now 2 times it repeated now, so we are using bis. Next, this name, ethylene diamine. If it is in bracket or parenthesis, we need to use same thing here also by writing the name also. Next one. Central metal atom, copper, its oxidation number is 2 and sulfate. You have to write continue. Don't give any space. Those are the rules. Next one, anionic complex. Anionic complex means in which uh, coordination sphere gets negative charge. In this case, first whatever the positive ion is there, that is not to mention. What is there here? Potassium. Potassium tetra iodido. Iodido. Next. When a uh, sphere gets negative charge, particular metal gets 8. We need to add 8. So here, in case of Latin names, we need to use Latin names only. Don't write, uh, but in case of mercury, we need to write mercury 8 only. 
but in case of silver and gold you need to mention it argentate don't write silverate and in case of gold or a but in case of mercury don't put or a wrong a rate mercury to so what is uh, oxidation number 2 next one third type if complex contain both cationic and anionic complexes how to name in this case of uh, in case of cationic as it is hexaamine hexaamine for here cobalt not chromium so otherwise here only we change chromium chromium 3 hexa this one over next one you come to this one hexa cyano cobalt a because here coordination sphere is getting negative charge plus minus cobalt a 3 so in this way coordination Uh, if it the complex if it contains cationic and anionic complexes, you have to uh, write name like this. Next, neutral complexes means in this case, uh, central metal gets oxidation number zero. In central metal atom, if it gets oxidation zero state zero, these are called neutral complexes. In such case, you write as this penta carbonyl. This group is called carbonyl group. Its oxidation number is zero. I am as this right oxidation number. Zero. Okay. Next topic. Isomerism. Here is isomerism is also important in this. Uh, here there are two types of isomerism. One is structural isomerism. In structural isomerism, two isomerisms are very very important. I am not going to discuss or uh, discuss all uh, types because they are frequently they are asking linkage and ionization isomerism obligations. Here linkage isomer. Uh, among the following, which can be exhibit linkage isomerism? Like that, if they ask, the first condition is it must contain ambivalent ligand. Linkage in linkage isomerism complex must contain ambivalent ligand. You know ambivalent ligand. Ambivalent ligand means ligand which contain more than one type of donor center. More than one type of donor center. Suppose C N minus L O two minus. Uh, S C N minus. In this case, nitrogen can act as donor, carbon can act as donor, but any one only can donate pair of electrons. Any one only can act as donor center. It means only one can donate pair of electrons. Like that here, N O two is the ambivalent ligand. So this is example for the ambivalent uh, ligand that we can take. Next here, nitrogen is uh, donating electrons to central metal. For me, coordination or uh, coordinate covalent bond. Here, oxygen is acting as donor. So these two are examples of linkage isomer. Mean these two are uh, isomeric case isomers. Next one, uh, ionization isomerism. In this ionization isomerism, molecular formula remains same. Molecular formula remains same, but there is difference in the ionized uh, products. Products. Here, sulfate in the uh, aqueous solution if we keep. Here we get sulfate ion. Here bromide, bromide ion. So the difference in the ionization products. So molecular formula is same, different way. Uh, so this type of isomerism, we uh, we can observe. If count uh, two different anions are present, in that one is act uh, counter ion, another one is acting as ligand. In such case, we can observe ionization isomerism. No, so your ionization products are. Coordination sphere and bromide ion, and here sulfate ion and coordination sphere. In this way, we can uh, distinguish ionization isomerism, linkage isomerism, and we can find out uh, which uh, which will come under ionization isomerism, which will come under structural isomerism. Next one, geometrical isomerism. Geometrical isomerism in square plane or complexes. Here, geometrical isomerism. Uh, Is not observed in tetrahedral complexes. Means tetrahedral complexes do not show geometrical isomerism. Reason is, however, you arrange you get symmetrical arrangement. So tetrahedral in such case at the same time, Ma4, Ma3b, Mab3, four all the four ligands are same. Geometrical isomerism is not possible. We can't arrange in different manner. Next, if three ligands are same, also. 
turned and three leg and its limb also the diametric isomerism is not possible so this by using this statement we can answer the questions like among the following which does not exhibit diametric isomerism like that if they ask you can answer easily next one square pyramid complexes of the type m a to b2 m a to b c m a b c d or uh, etc can exhibit geometric isomerism i am out to find out number of geometric isomerism for that i will give one a simple technique to find out geometric isomerism the thing is that you just arrange these ligands uh, in different uh, manner suppose here a2 i am arranging a a b b next a b one more arrangement is a b a b other than this nothing is possible if you write anything it will be in this two only so number of geometric isomers in this case is equal to two next m a to b c this how can be arranged first one a a at the center b c next one a b and a c other than this you can't write so here also the number of geometric isomers is equal to two next a b c d if all the four ligands are different if all the four ligands are different so in such case how to arrange a b c d possible arrangements are next one a c b d next one a d and b c so the number of geometric isomers here 3 m a b c d So uh, next, geometric uh, isomerism and optical isomerism in coordination of uh, octahedral complexes. I explain in the next question.